butterflies abound at Mata Verde Nature Refuge. Among them is Papilio ulysses, a spectacular species that flies commonly throughout Daintree's rainforests. While also ranging widely throughout northeastern subcoastal Australia, Indonesia, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands. Recognizing that the insect belongs in the swallowtail butterfly family Papillionidae, the members of which are often club or sword tailed, this stunning butterfly was scientifically described and named after the mythical Greek hero Ulysses by Swedish naturalist classifier Carl Linnaeus in 1758. Also commonly known as the Blue Emperor or Mountain Blue, Ulysses is particularly desired by collectors. Resembling as it does the renowned Morpho butterflies of Central and South America. Although unrelated, Morphos are equally prized in collections for their large size and usually extensive iridescent metallic blue structural coloration. And like the Morphos, Ulysses' underside is highly subdued, being mostly dark brown. Such starkly contrasting coloration is referred to as being disruptive. So that upon settling, Ulysses quickly becomes cryptic. Then, when it takes flight, the erratic flashing of the butterfly's contrasting intense bright blue upper side with its dark brown underside renders Ulysses an extremely difficult target. Now you see me, now you don't, for would-be predatory birds. Light of visitors to the Daintree region, Ulysses is mostly glimpsed as it erratically flits through the forest understory. Being a popular attraction in Queensland, it's a common gift shop item and emblem in various displays. While the species also appears more widely nationally, such as on certain Australian postage stamps. With luck, sometimes prolonged sightings of adults can be made. Especially during early mornings or late afternoons when the adult butterflies feed on the nectar of various flowers. Including showy, red-flowered ornamentals such as Ixora, Pentus and Hibiscus. Ulysses adults can be quite large, attaining wingspans of about 14 centimetres or about five and a half inches. Females are similar to their males, but can be identified by their upper sides. Their wings not being as extensively blue and with a row of narrow blue crescents on their hind wings. When egg laying, Ulysses females favor young saplings of several rainforest trees of the highly aromatic leaved citrus family Rutaceae. Placing their eggs on the uppermost soft new leaves of such saplings. After hatching, the tiny new caterpillars then feed on this easily chewable foliage, gradually moving to somewhat older, tougher leaves as they grow. At each of their five instars, the caterpillar skin changes not only serve to allow them to grow, but to also change colour and form at each of these stages so as to better match the substrate on which they rest. In some cases, mature Ulysses caterpillars can be boldly spotted with white. If the food plant leaves are infected with numerous raised yellowish-white galls, the caterpillar's markings mimic the galls, thereby better blending them with the surrounding pale yellow bumps. Ulysses' pupa is leaf-shaped, especially in side view. Its pale green colour further enhancing this cryptic camouflage. 
while its central yellow stripe closely mimics the yellow mid-vein of the underside of its food plant leaf. On occasion, an orange-brown form occurs that gives these pupae a more dead leaf or bark-like appearance. Dedicated protection of Ulysses' rainforest habitat is essential if the wonderful flashing flight of this species is to continue to brighten our lives.